At the mouth of the Loire was Brittany's capital in the Middle Ages. Its historic buildings pay tribute to its former glory. Today, Nantes is France's sixth largest city and a popular tourist destination. Perhaps the best known Breton specialty is the crepe. The thin pancakes are on offer virtually everywhere here. The T. Lichou restaurant is an insider's tip. Owner and chef Jean-Marie Roland specializes in Breton cuisine. He and his wife have been running the restaurant since 2009. Alongside classical Breton dishes, it offers a selection of more than 30 savory galettes and sweet crepes. Today we're making a crepe with apples, caramel and salted butter. Let's start with the batter. The ingredients for the crepe batter are baking powder, salt and vanilla sugar. Milk, eggs, butter, flour and sugar. Add melted butter to the milk, then add the rest of the ingredients. and mix until it's creamy, but runny. Professionals cook their crepes on a traditional crepe maker with two round cast iron hot plates. Today, Roland is using a frying pan. This is the first time I've done this. Heat some butter in the pan until it sizzles and cook the crepe briefly on both sides. The chef buys the fresh ingredients for his toppings at the local market. Brittany's cuisine is strongly influenced by its Atlantic coast. It uses all kinds of fish and other seafood. The dishes take time. Sometimes they require long cooking. I think a lot of this has been lost. People have forgotten how to take the time to make a meal. For the crepe with caramel and apples, Roland buys his fruit from local dealers. These apples come from the region. It's important for me to buy from farmers from around here, from nearby. I don't like to use apples that have traveled through half of France to get here. Another item on his shopping list, fleur de sel. It's a special and expensive sea salt. The little secret of the caramel is the salt. Right at the end, you add the fleur de sel and it boosts the caramel taste. Back in the kitchen, Roland peels the apples and cooks them until they're soft, but not mushy. Brittany's apples are famous for their intense flavor. For the caramel, heat the sugar, taking care that it doesn't burn. After about 10 minutes, it caramelizes, taking on a brown color. Then add cream. And at the end, a generous pinch of fleur de sel. If you have a creperie, the preparation is very easy. Put a knob of butter on the crepe, add the apples and the caramel, fold it up, and that's it. Apples, caramel, salted butter. But there's no limit to the toppings you can put on the crepes. There's something to please every palate.